Hey, what is up guys? So you've probably seen us do the one life point duel, but have you seen a million life point duel? And you might be thinking in age dies, you crazy, this game's gonna last 500 hours. That's not the case over here. There are a lot of cards that we'll probably see some play when we do some more of these in the future. But uh, it basically is going to be a very intense duel. Now this is a replay. The duel did take a little bit longer than an average, well actually I don't know, depending if you're playing like some type of ghost trick deck, maybe this is an average duel for you. But it's a little bit more lengthy, that's why we gotta go through the replay. But uh, there's some pretty unique cards that uh, don't normally see some play and in addition to that there are some wombo combos in here so anyways it's gonna be me with this guy killer and we're gonna be facing off against cc jones and trigger there in the back but uh, it's really fun i just love this idea of just changing the game kind of because we're using cards that normally people would never use like chicken race yeah you're probably gonna see that card but there's a really cool card called life equalizer and what that allows you to do is uh, basically make it so both players have 3,000 life. Now, uh, there's another card that I tried to bring out that turn, uh, which was the uh, Meth Lord Emperor Granal over here. And this card's actually pretty cool. So it can't be normal summon or set. This card cannot be special summon except by its own effect. When a face-up monster you control destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand. This card gains attack and defense equal to half of your life points. So at that point, it would be 500k. So that's really strong. You can see uh, it did get negated, and we did Dark Hole ourselves, but that's because uh, we were trying to get him out. Now, uh, Trigger over here has finally got out the Methlord Emperor Granal over here with uh, just a little bit under half a million attack. It's just, it's absolutely crazy what is being pulled off. But keep in mind, guys, uh, Pseudo Space uh, did copy Chicken Race, so we can't take any damage. Um, well, we can't basically get gamed, is what I'm saying. So he attacks with the Drill Warrior first. And uh, therefore, he can't attack with anything else because uh, this one is actually copying Chicken Race. Now, interesting to see my opponent is playing uh, Acid Trap Hole. My partner probably didn't know what he was doing. He's probably playing some crazy random deck over here. But I'm going to go ahead and try to win with my uh, deck over here. Now, I was thinking Trap Stone is a really good card in here because um, it is there life point. Hope for Escape can be really nasty in this. <laughs> Obviously, if you like pay a bunch of life points, you can basically draw like 20, 30 cards. Um, I, I think we, sh we did establish one rule. Uh, well... Later on, um, you know, we need to actually say no Exodia, no Final Countdown. But um, anyways, because that would be just, you know, way too long. But anyways, you can see a big chain going on over there. And then we did actually use a trap stun over here. And Premier Turtle is actually going to get us another card that is really good in here. And that card is Endless Decay. Endless Decay has the effect where if you have uh, 2,000 or less life points, you can special summon it from your hand. You pretty much don't use it. My body is shield activated against Frigeki. That's actually a pretty good card. But uh, Endless Decay, when this card is uh, normal or special summon, then this card's attack becomes half of the opponent's life points. Now that effect is actually activated, so I'm pretty sure if my opponent happens to have a lot uh, lower life points later down the line, I still have uh, this card uh, having its uh, huge attack. As soon as it gets summoned, that's when it's actually calculating its attack. Uh, you can see my opponent made a Quasar but uh, it's not going to really do too much. we got a Soul Charge here that is going to be trying to negate the uh, Soul Charge, but a Breakthrough Skill activated in response to that. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and bring out the Satellar Knight, and we're going to go ahead and bring out the Nova, and then throw it on to Infinity, and then absorb a Quasar. Ah, that disrespect over there, but yeah, we did use Breakthrough Skill uh, on that. And that's really good because since the card isn't really necessarily leaving the field, um, I don't think he can get out Shooting Star because it's uh, absorbed as material. But anyways, look, look at this. This guy is scumbag playing Exodia CC over there. Look at this. Reckless Greed. Oh my gosh. Six cards left in the deck. Can't even draw Exodia. We got the Army of Skeel over here. Wall Revealing Light activated. Pay a bunch of life points. Cyber Infinity Dragon to eat that. Life Equalizer with Chen. Disrespect activating another Life Equalizer over here. But, um... We still have the ability to absorb, and we're going to go ahead and chain Forbidden Lands. And a Magic Cylinder was activated, and we already used this card's effect, but we still can attack for uh, 15 directly over there. We should have actually summoned this. It would have been game, uh, but I didn't know that they had the cylinder. That was actually pretty dirty. You do a Friendship and Unity uh, <laughs> was in hand, so that we were forced to actually go for the Handshake over here. And then we're going to go ahead and end it off. But you guys can see, it's a lot more fun doing these crazy stuff. It's just like just like the anime. I love doing these crazy duels with you guys, whether it's the one life points or the million life points. I mean, there's only 16 turns. I mean, that's really not too bad at all. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. And if you guys have any more suggestions for some of these more intense, crazy duels, whether it's the life point change or, I don't know, some type of 
strange condition that we can have. Now, I want to try doing like spells only, and maybe a deck with like only traps, only monsters. Well, only monsters. It's it's pretty simple because there were a lot of decks that are monster mash based. But I love doing these unique things. Let me know what you guys think of these like crazy types of uh, dual scenarios. Like I said, it's like straight out of a TV show. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Asian Eyes signing out.